hey, I'm really happy to be talking with you today. I know we're going to have like a great conversation and asking some questions to different Aggies, and I'm really, really excited. So basically the first question is really quick. What imagery comes to mind when you think of UC Davis? Well, when it comes to UC Davis, the first imagery that comes to mind is this. Greenery yeah. all around us. Exactly. There's a lot of green, a lot of shades, nice sun. People could always enjoy the sun outside even during winter quarter. So that's something that I truly love about UC Davis. What Absolutely. about you? You know, I, same way, the nature comes to mind. All the animals in, uh, on campus, you know, squirrels. I saw some ducks uh, over there by the arboretum and uh, the cows. I love visiting the cows, you know. Uh, I get to go pet them and feed them and all that different stuff. Um, but, you know, that, that kind of nature and that kind of down-to-earth uh, feels of Davis and the community here and the college here, it really, really stands out. Definitely, yeah. definitely. That was something that is one of my truly unique experiences over here, at Davis, especially being a freshman living next to the cows right away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what is your what is your favorite unique or weird experience here at UC Davis? Weird experience here at UC Davis. I don't know, you know, it would have to be when I was exploring campus more and I found a place called the Domes at UC Davis. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, you know, the Domes is basically this uh, communal living uh, places of all these cement concrete domes you know i've made some friends in the domes and it's a really great community and they really you know they have like weekly dinners uh, not in covid age but uh you know it, it really um it really just stands out and i think that's like my most memorable like thing that stood out about davis wow that's yeah. awesome that's yeah. great what about you uh, i i think what of my most unique experience here at this university is I'm getting to know a lot of people from different cultures. Mm -hmm. um, all of my friend group, um, we are of more than eight different nationalities really? around each other. Wow. Yes, and being an international student coming in um, from the Dubai United Arab Emirates, mm -hmm. it's just a unique experience getting to know all these different cultures uh, that you wouldn't have expected to go and see if you're not in a, such a diverse community. Yeah. And so I'm truly happy to be among that diverse community, getting to know about new cultures, new people, and getting to know how to think, how their backgrounds, and learning a lot more about more than just um, the people that I've been living with uh, for the past 12 years. Yeah. So that was something truly, truly inspirational. Definitely, definitely, yeah. 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 And I would love to know more about how and when do you show your school spirit? How do I show my school spirit? You know, it would have to be... Uh through athletics, you know, I, I have a couple friends who uh, play on the softball team. Uh, I was there earlier today, you know, when they were doing a game. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, showing that school spirit and watching them on Zoom and stuff, uh, really supporting them through athletics and other, you know, organizations on campus like ASUCD and stuff like that. Um, you know, that, that's really how I show. What about you? I'm an electrical engineering major, and so uh, we do. We go in a lot of competitions where we proudly uh, express um, how great UC Davis is, how great UC Davis engineering, and what we've been up to. So, for instance, um, last year I was among the students who went to uh, the CubeSat Developer Conference in Cal Poly, and so we showcased how strong UC Davis is there um, by showcasing some of the research that we've been doing. Wow! And so. Working more on stuff that we can showcase uh, what we've up to and how great we are is something that I truly believe in, and that's my best way of showing how much I love the school. That's awesome. My school spirit. Yeah, I love it. I love Thank it. Thank you. All right. So next question: What was your on-campus uh, living experience like? So I lived on campus for first year. Mm -hmm. um, I lived through the dorms. I was living in Tercero. Actually, I was right across from the cows. Yeah. <laughs> I used to see them every morning whenever I opened my blinds. Um, it was such a truly uh, unique experience. Uh, I got to know most of my friends because of the dorms. Um, everyone on my floor used to be very open, very friendly. Mm -hmm. um, at the beginning of the quarter, we used to have like our doors open, all of our dorm, dorm rooms open um, for that people to come by and say hi. Um, so it was really, really, I felt like family, especially coming in from across the world. Uh, I didn't know anyone over here, yeah. but I truly was able to find my community right away. Definitely, um, yeah. What about you? Yeah, so, you know, as a transfer student, there was a lot of different options. I could live off campus or on campus, and but there was this new residence hall called The Green uh, at West Village, actually. It was brand new. It just got built, like, everything like that. So I decided to go there, and, uh, you know, it was for transfer students. A lot of people living there are transfer students, which I thought was very appealing. 
Um, and I just loved it, you know. Uh, for one, the accessibility was great. Uh, all the doors are automatic doors. So you swipe your card and the door opens up uh, right away. And that's one thing that, you know, I, I honestly uh, take for granted, you know. Um, yeah. And uh, all the buildings have elevators too. So it's like if I have a friend up on the third floor, I can go uh, see him and hang out and stuff. So that's not a lot of uh, things that happen. Like in West Village, there's not a lot of elevators. So, uh, you know, having that was really cool. And, uh, you know, I even renewed my lease for next year. I love it so much, right? Um, so, yeah, having that experience and meeting new people at the Green has just been a wonderful experience. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. I'm yeah. truly I'm truly happy about that. I've seen the green being built up. Uh, yeah. I live right across from the greens. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's yeah. great. Yeah, I love it. And uh, they're expanding even more, which, you know, good or bad, I don't know. I kind of like it how it is. But, you know, I, I really love it. I can't wait to be there next year. That's awesome. That's yeah. great. So what is a word of advice or encouragement that you would give to your freshman self if given the chance? Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's kind of ironic because, like, I am a freshman in some sense, but I'm also a transfer student. So I'm a freshman in the sense it's my first year on campus, but I'm a junior level standing. Um, so, you know, advice I would give, I don't know, reflecting on it. Um, definitely, if I'm speaking to someone else, get involved early uh, in, in organizations, uh, campus communities. Uh, you know, I, my first quarter here, I got involved in ASUCD. I ran for um, Senate and I was very um, lucky and, uh, and honored to be elected um, by the students here. So I've been representing uh, different ideals and uh, different communities that I feel have been underrepresented, like uh, the transfer student community, uh, disabled students on campus. You know, we're doing a couple other things with some committees, uh, bringing those back. So there's a lot of things to be involved in uh, on campus, and I'm lucky I found ASUCD, and kind of like that was my calling uh, for on campus. So I'm really happy I got involved early there, and that would like, you know, get involved early. Like, that's the advice I would get, give myself, because as a transfer student, you only have two or three years, so you really got to make the most of your time. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's the advice I'd give myself. What about you? Um, I would say more about just reach out to your professors, get to know them. Um, those professors are going to be along with you for the yeah. rest of your career. So it's very important to get to know them um, personally. Um, attend the office hours, get to know them. And of course, get also um, a lot of engagement and involvement with communities on campus, clubs mm -hmm. on campus, and different de campus departments like ASCCD. Mm -hmm. um, when I was a freshman, I was involved in some clubs, but I would say that you should have expanded yeah. your eyesight more, um, look at more, a lot of different cool things. Uh, there's more than, I think, more than about 800 clubs on campus. And yeah. so there's a lot of different a possibilities. Lot. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot to look for. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's um, nice. And my next question, you know, what's your favorite UC Davis tradition or event? I'd say my favorite UC Davis tradition by far would have to be the picnic day. Really? Yeah, would have to be picnic day. Um, although last year was all, it was virtual, mm -hmm. so it wasn't the picnic day that we're usually used to. <laughs> but um, once picnic days come back to in person, hopefully soon, um, we will be able to get to enjoy the day where like everyone comes around Davis um, to uh -huh. celebrate the day. Um, there's a lot of different um, celebrations happening on campus and off campus. And um, I love watching um, all the things that usually happens around the quad. Um, they usually close some of the, uh, some of the roads um, yeah. just for those celebrations. So that's something that I truly look for um, every year in spring quarter. Yeah, what definitely. Um, you know, for me, uh, there's a lot of things. And since this is my first quarter or, fir or first year, you know, on campus, there really hasn't been like any in-person stuff with COVID, obviously. But, you know, I'm really excited for, to go to more things. One thing I'm really excited for is to run on the field of the f first football game, right? Uh, I want to do that. And, uh, you know, they have powwows here uh, in the spring uh, in the MU on the quad, right? So I want to be uh, going to that kind of stuff. And, uh you know, all those different events like Picnic Day and uh, Whole Earth Festival, right, um, are things that I'm totally looking forward for in the future. Um, like, it's all looking forward to because we haven't experienced it yet, right? Um, but, yeah, those are all things I'm, I'm looking forward to. Wow, that's awesome. Um, good luck for that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know, right? I, I want it bad. I want it, I want it here now. But, you know, we got to be patient and uh, stick it out a couple more uh, months, hopefully, and it'll be back. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's the plan for fall. Yeah. <laughs> So what are your plans after you graduate? Plans after I graduate? I hope it's okay to say I don't know. I don't <laughs> think a lot of college students know. Um, you know, I'm a political science major, um, so I want to work kind of in that field. Um, I really uh, fell in love with uh, the Capitol in Sacramento. Uh, you know, I, I love touring there, and um, I've met a couple other 
assemblyman there. Um, so, you know, it, it's really, I don't know, the vibe just feels different. And I still have yet to go to DC. I know that uh, UC Davis does a UC DC program. Um, so I, I'd love to go there sometime. But, you know, uh, getting involved in politics and serving people, you know, public service, that's kind of what I'm aiming for. What about you? That's awesome. I'm thinking leaning more towards masters, mm -hmm. um, either or part-time or full-time, yeah. um, along with working um, at one of our tech companies, because I am an electrical engineering major. I am mainly emphasizing on electronics or digital systems. Uh, so I believe that um, through graduation, I'll probably even either continue um, taking master's degree as a full-time student or go a part-time awesome. with work. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So what was the transition like from high school or community college to UC Davis? So as an international student, I had yeah. a huge leap when it comes to transition. I started off uh, in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. That's where I graduated. And then I moved into Davis. And so Davis was a completely different country, community, culture, and then at the same time, different kind of academic level, yeah. um, which was a lot of it happening all at once. Um, I believe that the orientation was very, uh, was very friendly. Yeah. It was able to get me up to speed with what is expected from me as a university student, mm. um, other campus resources. Um, and a lot of different things that I could utilize in order to make my experience here at UC Davis uh, definitely a unique one and also a fun one. Because going to college is a unique experience. Everyone comes in from different backgrounds and it's important for us to ensure uh, the success uh, of like getting your degree and enjoying it, doing something in the future, while at the same time also enjoying your time at your university. Definitely. Um, yeah, that, that leave was extremely big, but I'm so proud that I was able to make it. Yeah. And uh, I'm just looking forward for everyone. Um, when, when I see freshmen, I'm always really happy to see how, how they're adapting, different ways of adapting to the new place. But I could tell that it is definitely one of my favorite experiences in my life so far. Definitely, yeah. And for me, you know, uh, you know going around the, the non-traditional college route, coming from a community college, right? Um, you know, I, I've had so many supportive people in my life who have helped me get to this point. Uh, you know, uh, I went to Folsom Lake College, which is not too far away. It's probably only about an hour away from here. Um, so I knew the campus of UC Davis. It was close to home, but it was still far away enough where it's like, you know, I was away from my parents a little bit, but if it was an emergency, I could call them, right? Um, but, you know, uh, it's, it's been a journey, you know, and I didn't really know. I got a little worried with, you know, my disability and moving away from college right away at 18. I didn't really know how to adjust, like to managing caregivers and other stuff like that. Um, so having that two years at community college, kind of learn and figure things out, uh, and then move to the green at UC Davis, right? Uh, so it, it just helped me be more independent and kind of, kind of just follow my route, you know. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically what it is. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. That's great to hear that. Yeah, um, I believe that everyone coming into college, they have such different routes and it's truly nice to see other people talking about it and getting to uh, share that kind of unique experience with others. Uh, I see it truly fascinating. Yeah, and I love sharing other stories with like other uh, college kids, you know? Like I, I know you told me like different backgrounds, that's all about what college is about, you know? Um, exactly. I've met a, a wide range of people and you know, listening and that communication is key because you hear other people's experiences and what they're going through and really like, you know, what would you do in their shoes, you know? Exactly. Um, so, so having that knowledge and meeting new people, like it really expands like your horizons, like in your mind, like what you think about, right? Like I met a ton of people and I didn't think or see the way the world that they do, you know? And, and that kind of opened my mind, uh, before, you know, until I came here. So I was really grateful for that. Yeah, and talks like these actually helped me a lot in choosing my university because yeah. Since I was uh, international, I wasn't able to visit the campuses out myself. So I was doing a lot of research online. Yeah. <laughs> and these are the things that I come across off. Um, students just talking about campuses, uh, videos of the campus, getting to know how people are like there, how the community is like, how the area is like. Uh, that helps me a lot in choosing the university. 
because it will be hard for me to get to see it myself on campus. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I mean, you got to know the vibes too. Like if, if Davis is a cool town, it, it definitely is. I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I loved going downtown and uh, some of my favorite things to do are going to Armadillo Records. Like I love yes. getting records there and stuff like that. And everything's so close too. you know, it, yeah. it's it's not really a city, but it is a city because everything is like within walking distance. It, it's kind of yeah. it's kind of weird how it is. Like it's so naturey, but it's a city at the same time. Exactly. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I love all those things and learning from other students and stuff like that. Yeah. And also for those who are interested to feel that kind of big city vibe, yeah. there's always Sacramento, which is 20 exactly. minutes away exactly. or yeah. San Francisco, mm -hmm. which is like about an hour away. Yeah, exactly. It's, and, you know, the country is the same way, too. Napa is only like 45 minutes away from here. Exactly. I, I'm a big foodie. So like. I love going to Napa just to eat lunch or dinner or something like that. Yeah. It's really great. You know, my mom taught me that. Um, so I definitely got it from her. But, oh, wow. but yeah, you know, I love food. So having that like distance, Davis is a good like halfway point to everything. Um, so that's why I love being here. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally the center of like going to a lot of places. Yeah, and yeah. that's what I love the most, honestly. One of the key things in Davis. Yeah, definitely. And while you're still here, just a calm kind of mm -hmm. um, scenery and just mainly a student-led life because there are students everywhere. Oh, yeah. We see students everywhere and that kind of brings the community back together. Definitely, definitely. definitely. All definitely. right, well, I'm pretty sure those are all my questions. Yes, uh, those were all mine too. I yeah. think I exhausted them all. So it was really great talking to you today and yes. uh, you know, I look forward to connecting in the future and you know, living life as an Aggie, that's how it is. Definitely, definitely. And you can always ask Aggie uh, for any help or support. We're all here for you. Um, and. We're glad to have you on campus for the first year. Always, always. Thank you. All right. Thank you.